My name's Reese. I'm an artist and a single mom. Uh, well, I grew up on the East Coast and I try to pride myself on being a very direct and open person. And I feel that I try to exemplify that in my art, mostly spoken word. The clouds is where I stay gleaming, reflected where I once deflected, meditated where I once medicated, combating bad habits of giving in and feeding into whatever global media has been streaming. Um, and just motivate people to be authentically themselves and express their traumas and their life experiences through their art. My name is Caitlin Kaminsky and I am a full-time student right now. I work for a tech company, but I'm going to get my um, bachelor's in nursing and then go on to grad school. I was never really like the creative, like artsy person in my family, that was my brother. And so like for me, what I like to do, like getting in front of the camera, doing like the photography even behind the camera or in front of the camera was always really important to me because um, it helps me express myself. Uh, I love movies, love music. I sound so cliche right now. <laughs> um, I like to read. I'm super involved in um, school though. Honestly, I learned at a very young age that men are pigs pretty much. Um, I think growing up in being so different from the people I grew up around made me take refuge really on, on the internet, like through forums and online journals. And I think in a way it kind of gave me that freedom to like explore and that obviously like drew in a lot of unwanted or unsavory characters. Mind you, I had no idea like the dangers of the internet and stuff like that. So for me, it was really just a liberating experience, but I actually ended up experiencing a lot of different forms of sexual harassment. And this was maybe as early as like 11 or 12. So. I started modeling for modeling for Suicide Girls. So I started, that's when I decided I really wanted to get into like the industry. Um, not anything like pornographic or anything, but that's when I kind of started, like as I was building my Instagram following, like that's when I started realizing like people are just rude. <laughs> They're just assholes sometimes, particularly, I mean, not just guys, girls can be too, but, um, and I think like even just in any setting, you know, you go to a bar, a girl goes to a bar and, and you know, the guy walks by and smacks her ass. Like it sounds so cliche, but it's, it does happen. It's definitely a real thing. And I think that it becomes more, pre it's becoming more prevalent as social media is growing. So there's probably a select few of them that is like the boy that never got the chance to talk to the girl in high school and blah, 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 which totally not trying to put myself on a pedestal. But I, I definitely think that, you know, again, you're hiding behind a screen. You can be whoever you want to be. So I think as far as like a motive of where it comes from, I don't, I think it's different in, a, in anybody who's reaching out. I mean, you could go as far as saying that it could be people who have some sort of like mental health disorder. Um, and I mean that in a very respectable way is that, you know, that could be, you're, you're channeling your aggression in a way that isn't necessarily healthy, but you're not going and saying that to a woman in public. So, I mean, I think it could come from all different ways. I don't think really any of it is positive. Well, the obvious reason is like, uncontrollable sexual urges, but I also think it's um, like a game of just how much can I just like keep pushing this person either to get a rise out of them or to finally just, I don't know, I think some are foolishly hopeful that that is a way to get women to respond in a positive way. I don't know why or who has, but if there is any woman who is positively responding to this or feeding into it, she should definitely stop because it's just worsening the problem. It sucks because it ends up just becoming normal. You know, women are just consistently berated by this type of harassment. And I mean, sure, you can complain about it when it gets bad or obviously like try to stick up for yourself. But in the end, it's like there's really no way to regulate it, it seems. And that's why I actively use my block button because if someone gives me the creeps or just starts being annoying, you know, I have no problem just cutting them completely off. 
if they invested half as much time as they do in trying to take people's pic profiles down and take people's pictures down versus on the assholes that are just being assholes, I, I think it would make social media a way better platform and not such a negative, negative thing, I guess. Want to smash, no strings. Your poetry is an inspiration. It doesn't even make sense sometimes. Like, I just send these things in succession. I'm like, are you just stream of conscious? I don't know. I want to make love both of you, comma, girls. Grammar is great. So good. Have a good night. Let me know when you need dick. Well, eggplant emoji. <laughs> Hi, do you do porn? No. <laughs> Damn, lol. Well, all right, have a good day. <laughs> um, yeah, you will come around. I know your patterns now. That is creepy. <laughs> that isn't just a harassment at that point. That's like, oh, hey, I'm going to find you. It was from a girl's profile. Uh, her name was Ashanti um, on OfferUp. And it the response to the headphones was, hey, what's your snap? And then I said, I don't have a snap, question mark. Oh, you got an Instagram? <laughs> and then I said, are you interested in the headphones? <laughs> well, I, well, I, this, is, this took me and my best friend like 10 minutes to try to decipher. Well, I am, but listen, the guy that is using this account is a friend of this lady's. I'm using her account, and I feel like we should meet up sometime. <laughs> Just be ready for another kid, though. I don't want to use a condom. This is the most sickening, and then I just don't respond. And Your ass is the best, I swear. What size are your jugs? Not gonna lie, but I'd fuck you. Cool. Grow the fuck up. And get a life, honestly. I don't understand how people waste this time much of their day just knowing that they're making another person uncomfortable. Get outside of yourself and grow the fuck up. <laughs> You're absolutely not going to pick up a girl this way and you have a much better chance picking me up if you were to actually attempt to get to know me and stop just sending me these random explicit messages. I mean, I, I, you're not even worth my time. Like, you're a waste of my time. <laughs>